It's what you do. I am on my own version of maternity leave, which basically means I'm going to be creating slightly easier videos for a short period of time. And for today's maternity leave level video, we are going to be creating sand art using this kit. I actually purchased this art kit a year or two ago from Michaels. So I think at this point, you guys might still be able to buy this. My point is it's not as old as the other art kits that I have used on my channel. It's by Color Zone. There are five sand colors available in the art kit, and it claims you can create your own sand art. Includes everything you need. We'll see about that. On the side, it has three sand art bottles, one sand art pendant, five blah, 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 blah. Too many things to read. Let's just open the box. As typical, as usual, I can't speak. As usual, I have issues opening packaging boxes. I don't know why everything has to be so hard to open. You know the toys that have those plastic things that are impossible to take off when you first open them, you have to cut them, and it's just a disaster? I feel like with art kits, packing tape is that. It's like impossible to get all of the packing tape off of all of these little tiny products. And I realized part of it's my fault. I could use a scissor and cut this free, but for some reason I see tape and I go, oh, this will be easy to peel. It's not though, it's never easy to peel apart. And I think we all need to sign a petition to say we don't want packing tape on our art supplies. Okay, let's look at the instructions. Step one, set up your work area. Done, okay. Let's look at the goodies. What do we have here? We've got some clear plastic bottle things. We've got sand in a variety of bright colors, although I do kind of wish there was pink. There are a variety of containers we can put our sand in. There's this heart thing, which is very cute. I think it's a pendant of sorts. We've got this lava lamp shape. This, oops, just dropped something. We've also got this circle thing. I don't know what any of these are. And this wobbly one. The wobbly one is very long and thin and seems unstable, but oh well. We've also got this, uh, what is this called? A sieve? No. What is it called? A funnel. It's a funnel. And whatever this is, honestly confused by this thing. We also have our sand in a variety of colors. You'll notice there's orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Why did they not just add red? We could have had all of the colors. Why would you do this to me? OIG Biv. Why? Let's move the disappointment away and figure out what the heck this is for. I think we have to actually read the directions. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, here we go. Use the design stick to push one sand color down into another color and create a cool mixed look. Okay. Let's start with the one I've decided to call the lava lamp. I took out this funnel, put it in the top of it, and then I took out my colors. I had to take out my scissor as well and cut a tiny little hole in the corners of each of the colors. Accidentally spilt the green, but that's okay. We'll just wipe that away so it's not in our shot. As I started pouring these different colors, I was reminded of when I used to do sand art as a kid. I remember actually loving sand art as a kid, but then I also remember being not frustrated by it, but a little like worried about the sand art. I remember being like, we can't move it at all or it's going to be ruined. If I tilt it slightly to the side, it's gonna ruin my pattern. A tiny perfectionist. That same feeling kind of came back to me here. I was like pouring them and I'm like, okay, we have to create exactly perfect lines or everything is going to be ruined. And you know what? I did that at first. I created very perfect straight lines that were stacked very nicely. And honestly, as I look at this in the video format, I go, wow, that is very pleasing to my eye. I enjoy it. However, while I was filming this, I actually decided, you know what? Let's embrace what we never could do as a kid. Let's shake it up. I mean, shaking it was always something that I was like terrified would happen. And honestly, it wasn't so bad. I mean, we shook it. I think it looks definitely worse than it did before. But you know what? That's what we do on this channel. Embrace our fears of imperfection. And now I have something that looks like a lava lamp. So I think we know who won. Let's move on to this weirdly shaped circle thing. I mean, it looks like a normal shape, but it's the first of a few very unstable. Oh, this is proof that I did film this ahead of time when I was pregnant. I actually filmed quite a lot of videos ahead of time. No, that's a lie. I filmed like four to five. And at this point, I think this is one of the last ones that I've filmed ahead of time. What I did not anticipate was towards the end of my pregnancy, the amount of fatigue that I felt. I ended up using my pre-filmed videos in my last few weeks before I actually gave birth. 
now at this point my son is three weeks old and I'm going to have to start filming some videos. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I feel like I started that sentence and ended somewhere totally different. What did I start with? Oh yes, the unstab instability. Unstability, instability of this circle. It is a circle, so it looks fine, but actually the side of it is very thin and it falls over fairly easily. So I was creating this design, which I really like. I feel like it looks very 70s-ish with like the V kind of look. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I feel like the 70s, they were like those shirts that had the Vs on them. Maybe I'm literally just going based off of that one hockey jersey that my husband showed me from years ago that I think was in the 70s. Regardless, I like this design. I like the V, I like the colors. I think it's fun, but unfortunately, when I went to show you guys the design, I accidentally knocked it over. And here in lies the problem with sand art. It's made of sand, so it's very prone to being absolutely destroyed. You probably have to put this on some high shelf somewhere where it will never be touched in order to actually keep the design intact. Otherwise, yes, this is going to fall over and it is going to destroy all of your hard work. Or maybe we should just embrace everything being ruined, which is what I decided to do here. Things are already messed up enough. Why don't I just use this tool to mush things together and create different vertical lines? Thanks, I hate it. I feel like I had almost no control over where I was actually able to put the lines. So I thoroughly hate this. I did add some extra purple on top and tried to mush that even more into it. I also feel like I absolutely destroyed this by accidentally knocking it over. But then again, you could breathe on this and it would knock over. It was only a matter of time. Let's just be done with this and move on to our next piece. I call this one the wobbly one because, well, it looks wobbly, but also because it falls over extremely easily. It's very tall, very thin, and it has almost no ability to balance, but that's okay. We're going to work with it. See, I would say that the circle one was my least favorite, but honestly, at least it had some character, a little personality. The wobbly one is just wobbly. You had really no control over what the placement of things was, if that makes sense. You just kind of like pour it and then it like falls in this weird zigzag motion and everything is kind of in the same pattern. No matter what you do, it's kind of slanted and a little wobbly. The other thing I disliked about the wobbly one, aside from its wobbliness, was the colors. And this was not really my fault. I like the green color, but the purple and the blue were so dark by comparison. I just strongly dislike the way the colors turned out in combination with each other, and I blame the art kit itself. Let's move on to my favorite one. This little heart pendant. It's so cute to begin with. Let's just start with that. It's so tiny. I love that it's small and I like that it's a heart. I decided to use all of the sand colors for this one. And this is where I got a little bit irritated that there was no red because there is literally every color of the rainbow here except red. So I could have made a rainbow heart, but because there was no red, I decided to just not even go in rainbow order and just make it random. <sighs> Even without there being a red, I still really like the way this turned out. It's adorable. Now it's time to get the yellow necklace part of this. I did have to retie the knot because the thread was fraying and then I took out my scissor and cut off the frayed parts, screwed the top back onto the heart, gave it a nice spin just for fun. And here we have all of the sand art that I created in this video. I was looking at this and I was like, wow, well, okay, these are not all the best. Some of them I like, some of them I don't like. So I decided to order them from my most favorite to my least favorite. For obvious reasons, the heart came in first place. The lava lamp was next, the circle, because it had some personality and then the wobbly one. Now that we have looked at them and ordered them and showed what the results were, it's time to embrace our fears. I decided to do what I could never bring myself to do as a kid. I decided to shake all of them. In my head, this destroys everything, but I think to some of you, you might think that this improved some of them, possibly. I know the heart was definitely destroyed because I liked it better as the stripes, but honestly, it's not so bad. It looks kind of cool like that too. Let's be real, the circle probably couldn't get any worse than it already was. So honestly, I think we may have improved it. And then the lava lamp was already kind of shook, but I did spin it around like a spin the bottle. And here is what that turned out looking like. If you want to see me test out more art kits, I have a playlist on my channel called Finishing Childhood Art Kits, where I finish art kits from my childhood. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!